Imagine being able to build a report based on real-time data or creating an application that alerts you as soon as an event happens. Well, first, you'd probably be seen as a hero. And second, all of this is a very real possibility with data streaming. Data streaming is the continuous flow of data as it's generated from a source so that it can be used for real-time processing and analytics. In this video, I'm going to cover the high-level concept of data streaming, how it differs from batch scheduling, and whether or not this is something that's just for big tech companies. First, let's talk about why this is helpful from an analytics and reporting perspective. In a typical batch scheduling approach, you'll extract and load your data from all of your sources, typically at the same cadence. So for example, this could be uh, once an hour, once daily, something like that. This keeps things simple, but you also miss out on any data or events created in between those runs, which could potentially be really valuable for making quick decisions. A common example I could think of is a real-time tracking report. In this example, timing is absolutely critical and waiting an hour for the next update really won't cut it. With a data stream, you could theoretically capture every tracking update as it occurs. So that way your operations team or whoever's using this report has full visibility into what's happening as soon as it's happening. The second perspective is in terms of modern software development practices. While for years software applications were built as a single monolithic program with a central data store, nowadays they're built more as individual or siloed applications, each with their own individual data stores. This is often referred to as a microservices architecture and these individual services or apps need another solution to get the latest data to and from one another. Data streaming solves this by allowing data to be passed between applications in near real time so that they can all stay on the same page. Third, it's simply a more scalable solution for the massive amounts of data that some companies are generating every minute of every day. Moving data along as soon as it's created avoids overloading a batch load server and the design of streaming platforms can be easily scaled up and down as your throughput changes. So how does this work? As we mentioned, data streaming is focused on capturing events. And at a high level, it will typically look something like this. First, you have your source applications or what could be called data producers. This might be a database, software application or anything else really that's creating data for you. These producers are set up to send their event information to the stream where it gets written to a log file and placed in a queue. An important thing to mention is rather than there being just one single queue to manage all events from every producer, it can be broken down into groups and subsections to allow for faster parallel processing of these events as they come through. Each of these queues are also distributed across multiple servers or nodes so that if one happens to go down for some reason, your entire architecture doesn't also go down with it. Now, as these events are being written to the log and added to a queue, there will be other applications or data consumers listening and waiting for these new events to come through. A data consumer in this case could be another database, an analytics tool, or maybe even another stream itself. All of this happens incredibly fast, often in milliseconds, effectively giving these consumers real-time access to source events. To help put this into more perspective, here's a high-level example of the AWS Kinesis architecture. We can see in this case, the consumers push the data to the stream where it gets broken up into individual shards, as they call it, to help divide and conquer the data that's coming through. The stream data is then passed on to data consumers, which are applications running on EC2 or compute instances. Here's another image showing a specific implementation for IoT devices. While I just showed an example of AWS, there are other great tools that offer the same streaming service. Each of these have subtle differences and some obviously are going to work better within their own ecosystems, but overall, they're all seeking to achieve the same functionality of streaming data by moving event messages in and out of queues. When talking about pros and cons of data streaming, here are just a few that you might want to consider. So first, let's look at the pros. Obviously, the biggest is that you're going to have access to near real-time data. You'll have access to all individual record events. So we're talking the create, update, delete, every single action you would see, not just the latest state. You can run analysis or automations midstream, so you don't have to wait for that data to come through on a batch ETL process. You can get at it right away. It's also very scalable and fault tolerant as a result of that distributed architecture. 
So what about the cons? Well, first, it does add complexity to your architecture. For example, you'll now have dependencies between potentially streams and applications. You also have a new requirement for some of your data engineers to understand this type of workflow. You may have different arrival cadences of these events, which could impact joins. It's going to add a lot more data because with streaming now, you're not just capturing the latest state, but you're getting every individual event. It's a pro and a con. You may have different data types for your analytics. So Let's say you have your stream data coming over in a JSON format and then trying to join or compare it with more traditional tabular type data. So is this only for big tech companies? Well, these technologies are out there for anybody to use. They can be spun up fairly quickly and can scale up and down to fit pretty much any sized architecture. Therefore, it's definitely not just for big tech companies. Any company or any individual can set up their own data stream and be successful. But I will say this, if your business is not reliant on real-time data and can wait an hour or even maybe 15 minutes for new data, it might be a little overkill. I know that it sounds nice to say that you have real-time reporting data, but that's going to come at the cost of more technical maintenance that may ultimately outweigh that benefit if you don't have the true need for it or the skill sets to maintain it. Definitely look into it, but don't rush to implement it just because it's a nice buzzword. If you're brand new to streaming, my suggestion would be start with one of the services offered on one of the cloud providers. There may be a little bit of a cost with this, but it's going to be less intimidating than trying to spin up your own platform using purely open source tools. So AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, all have their own offerings and each can be configured with just a few clicks. So go ahead and give it a shot and let me know if you're able to set one of those up. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.